Ten. Nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Five. Five. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Hello, everyone. I'm Dan. And I'm Austin. We are here to play games. Horrendously. Well, with lots of fun and laughter. Horrendously. I like it. <laughs> uh, welcome back to Lies of P. Um, Egregiously? Egreg hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps. Hmm. Yes. hmm. Uh, <laughs> last time, uh, we got through... Oh, man. Words. We got through a place last time. Yeah, we've been going through the Grand Exhibition Hall. Yeah, yeah the exhibition. Um, we met Bell. Oh yeah, I was uh, farming up some stuff over there. But yeah, we we did meet. We we met Bell. Uh, was there anything we had to do before we head toward the boss of this area? Uh, no, I think we took care of the housekeeping stuff. We took to Paladina and, and got the Legion Caliber in the courts, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I can't think of anything else. But, just for our viewers, if this is your first video here, welcome. As always, you are welcome. But, if you want to see this from episode one, check the card link that should be posted up right about now. Mm -hmm. It'll take you to the whole playlist, and you can start from one and come all the way down this way. That's right. And if you want to uh, watch this video and then start from the beginning, we won't judge you for doing that. Well, not externally. I'm just kidding. We won't judge you at all. We won't say judgmental things. If we judge <laughs> you, it will be in our minds. <laughs> That's just so much effort. I'll just leave it at not judging. Hey, I'm not the one adding nuance to this. <laughs> uh, but aren't you? Uh, uh, yeah, yes. Okay, right. So we're going straight across behind this thing up the ladder. Ah, yes. Because yes. that was the last shot we, uh, we unlocked. We gotta go take on Victor, according to Bell. Victor is floating around somewhere. He's causing problems. Yeah. So, for our listeners and viewers, um, if you've watched our Salt and Sanctuary playthroughs at all, uh, you can understand some of the struggles that Dan has gone through because it has to do remote play. And so that connectivity isn't the best, especially since I don't have a way to be hardwired into the into our internet right now. I have to use Wi-Fi, which makes all the connectivity so much worse. Yeah. <laughs> but because of our uh, recording schedule, we record Liza P after we do si uh, our Salt Sanctuary stuff. Right. So I can only imagine the amount of relief Dan feels every time we finally switch over to Liza P once we're done recording. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love Salt and Sanctuary, but oh man, is it like playing through sludge with remote play? It's pretty crazy. <laughs> I'll find a way to fix it one day, I promise, but by then it may not matter. Yeah, play it later, like, oh, just do it this way. It has certainly led to some very funny things happening between your inputs being eaten and my lack of knowing what's ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, it's entertaining, you know, enjoy our suffering viewers. Yeah, it's entertaining for us, at least. Yeah, hopefully for you as well. Right. All right. Boss time. It's a great way to open episode. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy, this place looks... This is crazy looking. Yeah. Like a stage at some point. To my You're talking. This is where evolution becomes real. Oh yeah, brother! This is a wrestling match. I am Victor, the champion. Essentially. Wow! Nice kick, buddy. Like a tornado oh, kick. Ooh, he's mad. Ooh, this is... Wow, he's huge. Yeah. This is very Bane from Batman coded, though. 
like I wouldn't su be surprised if he um, in a strong attack is what allows him to be huge and muscular. Uh, fun fact, the first time, I, I'm not a big comic book reader, so the first time I ever saw Bane was I watched the movie Batman and Robin. <laughs> Which I'm sure if any of you read the comics, you're just like, uh, you failure. <laughs> That's yeah, not the real so, Bane. <laughs> right, so like the Bane from Dark Knight Rises is closer intelligent wise, I think so. Yeah. Bane is actually a really smart villain. But as far as like his actual look in the comics, Batman and Robin did a pretty good job, like capturing his like aesthetic appearance. Ooh. Um, but I think I think the Dark Knight Rises kind of captured the essence of Bane, intelligence and personality a little bit better. Sure. But Ooh. and I'm sure I'll get disagreements with the comments, but I, you know, neither one of them really quite hit the mark. Yeah. Oh, shift that phase. Man, this is very Bane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. Oh. Ooh. Gnarly. Ooh. He looks dope. Are you a little slower now, buddy? Oh, no, of course not. Ah. Ow. Yeah, it was way too much damage for being as fast as it was. He hits like a truck. Dang. That would be many to pull your sword out, but this one. Oh. Your specters. Get his face pushed in. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh! 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 Ow! Okay, that did not do near as much damage as it looked like it should have. You're look. You're used to Elden Ring throws. Oh, uh, yes. Come on. Where if they start to throw, with you having three quarters of your health left, and when they're done, you're either already dead or you have like uh, a feather's worth of damage on you. Or it doesn't matter because you fell asleep waiting for the animation to finish. There's that too. Man, he is. Ow! <laughs> I will give this game credit the credits due. All of their bosses have been cool designs. Agreed. Ooh, that's it. Oh. You gotta give that a try again. Yeah. I will switch to the sword, I think. Because I was doing okay, but I think the sword will do better. The sword does really well with single targets, it seems like. Yep. And I'm not keeping both equipped because of uh, equip weight concerns. So, I, oh, did, I, I didn't really want to switch to the dancers. Um <laughs> I thought you had it set so that it could put the problem. Um, we upgraded an armor. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, now it's, it's very, like, if you, see, it's like 63%, whereas if I change it over here, uh. yeah, it's still a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to just do one weapon. Interesting. Yep. Yeah, the sword is relatively heavy. Um, it's not that bad, but it's relatively. It's another try here. He almost had him. Yeah, I think, I think we can get this. He's not. He is a little fast, and I don't like his 78 hit combo. But you know, it is what it is. We'll uh, we'll get it. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't seem terrible though. Nah. Hey, buddy. Open your eyes. Gaze upon the new world. <laughs> just the the kind of accent he has. Just 
Yeah. I said, brother, who wants some pays? Ooh. Oh, he's in oh, throw oh. animation. Oh, I was like, excuse me. Like, buddy, you could just stay in that corner if you want. Right. Ooh. Ooh. The Spectre's weapon looks really cool. Oh, what is he using? Ooh. I'll bet that's from this boss. Well, if, if Aspect is in any indication, I would say yeah, probably. But... Yeah. yeah. Get him, get him, get him, get him. know if this is true but the, your hair is starting to look more like specters now oh interesting so i'm wondering if it's um porto or whatever oh yeah it could be or at least like the this, this living will one might say the living will, oh no. <laughs> ah, not what I meant to do. That may not actually be like do a narrative reason for the Spectre to exist the way it does, but... Yeah, I'm curious who the Spectre actually if it's just not, not supposed to be something you think about really, it's just a, a dude. Yeah. But he's starting to look like you with longer hair. So. Yeah. Oh, I won. Oh. Yep. There it is. What? Oh, what? I thought you stabbed Oh, him. okay. Oh, okay. Weird. I think you and I both have the same thought of. Get out of here. Excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> Champion of evolution. Why be humble? I am evolved. A better man. Oh. Ah. Uh. Ooh. Excuse me. Who are you? I'm surprised you defeated Victor. Menace. His creations are truly marvelous. Ah, but where are my manners? My name is Simon Manus, a leader among alchemists. I've known your father for a long time. We used to be colleagues, you know. Gepetto didn't understand that the petrification disease can strengthen humankind. Locks into conventional thinking, I'm afraid. But even he can't stop such a magnificent discovery. It's the door to a new world. You've seen this place with your own eyes. Truly inspiring, is it not? What do you suppose our cure has created here? Hmm. What should I do I here? Hope, hope of a cure. Okay. I have to admit some surprise. I didn't expect you to be as rational as we are. I'm impressed. 
Even if it's a lie. <laughs> I'm sorry I underestimated you for being a puppet. You're open-minded enough to hear the truth about the petrification disease. Ooh. The disease does not signify death. It's the process of purifying a person's essence. Mm. A purified human who overcomes the petrification disease will gain a strengthened body and a mind free of lies. The essence is ergo. Yes. The ergo you use as your power was once a human being. What? Our undertaking is to help others experience this purification through this elixir. Okay. Truly, it's an honor. Ergo's power can do even more. In the hands of the awakened, its abilities are limitless. We already have the means to control that power. Power beyond your imagination. So while you wallow in a pathetic past, we step forward into humanity's future on the Isle of Alchemists. You're welcome to come to the island and witness our triumph firsthand. Or perhaps you'll make a futile effort to stop us. Hmm. <sighs> Maybe the Santa statue can help you. In any case, good luck. Standing against evolution must be exhausting. Not to mention demoralizing. Keep your chin up, puppet. And I'll see you soon. No one can say that Simon Manus, leader of the alchemists, isn't hospitable. Warmth. That's a different wording than before. It is. Very interesting. Okay, well that was... Um, so humans are being made into Ergo. Is what it sounds soil like. Soylent Green is people? Soylent Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> like, I, I wasn't expecting Ergo to be the essence of human. Like, I... That's... I'd like to know who that other person is, I guess. But. Yeah, and I guess I wasn't too far off with the alchemist and using the cure or whatever for the petrification disease. Yeah. Looks like they're attempting to find a cure, at least. Yeah, there's but, a bunch of stuff here. Yeah. Or well, the so, cure is turning them into ergo. <laughs> right. Well, when monsters get defeated... At least the human monsters. I don't they dissipate into like a blue. Uh, yeah, ergo? yeah, I think so. So maybe that's what's happening there. Yeah. Also, I think it was maybe. mentioned that the cure at one point was a blue liquid. I feel like that was what was said mm. describing it. And so I'm wondering if all the chemicals in these vats is the cure that was allegedly held by the alchemist. Yeah, that could be. Mm hmm. So many questions. Yes, indeed. Um, okay, so as far as, like, finishing up this chapter... Oh, they headed out. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, if we go to the Grand Exhibition Conference Room and return to the room with the Muscle Puppet mini boss, there's a door down there we can... Okay, we're at the conference room. The muscle right, puppet cool. mini boss. Yeah, yeah. So when you fought the muscle puppet, it was like down a set of stairs. Okay. From where the the ladder is. I have slept None. since then, so. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, so. See. Not uh, that way. This way, okay. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, because you you killed him like on the steps here or whatever. Okay. He was oh, in yeah. this area. Yeah, this guy. I remember him now. Yeah. There should be... Uh, there's a door around here you should be able to open. I like doors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe the door here. Could be. Yeah. yeah. This one. This door was locked before. I think you can open it now. Yep. He gave him, like, we just got this key. Whoa. Yeah. It's a big door. You gotta really put all your effort into it. Apparently. Oh, hello. 
Oh, Sophia, what are you doing here? She's here too. Respect. Yes. Who is that? Oh, there's a stargazer there too. Excellent. Very interesting. System reset. Gold coin fruit can be consumed to reset your level. P organ legion arm. Oh, okay. Cool. More gold coin fruit is required. Interesting. Because you can do that at the tree as well. Oh, really? Yes. I have reset. Huh. I have respect at least once at the tree. You. Oh, this device must be powered by gold coin fruit. A new life for an old puppet. Hmm. Okay. That statue's holding the P organ too. Yeah. Interesting. Hey. Sorry to startle you. It seems that the power of the listener within me, the power to hear Ergo, is getting stronger. It's powerful enough to send not only my voice, but even illusions. Ooh. Maybe it's because of the power of this Saint Tess statue. I came to you because I wanted to tell you about Simon. The terrible things he does. Ah, okay, yes. so that's, I should have that's... told you about Simon earlier. Hmm? But it's the sort of thing you have to see to believe. Mm. He is the most dangerous man in Krat. He spreads mayhem and death for a delusion he calls evolution. Simon wants to evolve a new world in Krat. A horrible future. Even worse than the disasters we already face. That's why I woke you up. If you can't save Krat from Simon, no one can. Find the Isle of Alchemists. Someone must know how to get there. I will help as much as I can, of course. Please, save Krat. Okay, so it's implied that... I'm sorry. Wait for you. Hold on. That is why I'm the listener. To bear witness. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, good. Well, just the way she spoke implies that she's not actually physically there talking to you. Right. She's astral projecting. Yep. Something like that. Interesting. Ergo <laughs> project... I don't know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Something, yeah. Ergo projecting over here. Yeah. She can... Right see it and so ergo is like a life essence type thing which makes sense um right and people can be turned into it using the petrification disease which okay or at least that's the result of the petrification disease it leaves behind ergo uh-huh but it makes me wonder did the petrification come first and then they discovered ergo not realizing they were connected or has ergo always been around uh, and kind of like the live stream, right? A la what do Father you mean Seven. by it being around? Ergo? Yes. Oh, well, like as as a, a resource. Okay, so right, you're Ergo saying is a resource that they use to build puppets and do other things. So you're saying has it been, was it around before they began to purpose it or create it using the petrification disease? Uh, right, like okay. uh, harvesting from petrified. Because if it's yeah. life essence, it has already always been around. But yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. Not. Maybe not usable. It, right. So, I again, I'm thinking more like the live stream in 7, right? Yeah. How it's uh, solidified form is what creates materia. Mako. Right. I always said as Mako growing up. I ate the tomato, tomato, in my opinion. Mako, Mako. Yeah. Uh, okay. About the listener. I've always wondered why I'm a listener. Why this power came to me in this time and place. But now I understand. Ergo reached out, wanting someone to hear it was once human. Or maybe it wanted someone to remember it. Perhaps a god or an angel. Who knows? But the alchemists have tainted everything. The gold coin tree is a pathetic creature they created from the listeners. 
Like many of their creations, it's tragic, but useful. You can control Ergo with gold coin fruits. The sad tears of those who became trees. Ah, what? If we get the chance, the alchemists might force me to make such a tree of them. Or something even more tragic. Don't let the sacrifice of the alchemists' victims be in vain. With the fruit, they lend their strength to you. Collect gold coin fruits, and let the Saintess statue inspire you to victory. You honor their sacrifice, their grief, and tears. Hmm. Wait, so... The alchemists were trying to force people to be listeners? And that turned them into trees? It seems like it. Um, okay, I'm just trying to sure uh, understand going, what's being said here. There's the gold coin fruit that comes from the trees, which is probably why they were doing it. Mm -hmm. Which means she could become a tree, I guess. So, right, like, is it listeners that are being forced to turn into trees? Because she just said... I don't know. Let's... let's creating one. Yeah, hang yeah. on. Yeah, hang on. Okay. Power... One and someone here. It wanted some... But the alchemists have taken Pathetic creature they created from the listeners. Okay, yeah. So, like, they took listeners, or maybe each tree is an individual listener, but there's a process of converting a listener into a tree. Right. And with the big alchemy and gold, that's an interesting connection, too. Yep, that makes sense. Let's see. Petrification disease. Puppet frenzy. And carcass monsters don't happen by chance. Mm-hmm. They're all related to Ergo. Ergo is the essence of life made from the petrification disease. It contains the mm, memories okay. and distilled lifespan of the victim. So they're causal, what we were talking That's about before. Why puppets sometimes awaken their old selves or describe someone else's memories. Mm. Simon coveted Ergo's power, and he noticed that the process of curing the petrification disease could also create enhanced humans. Krat became a city of monsters and petrification disease because of Simon's terrible experiments. The King of Puppets tried to stop Simon, but he didn't do well either. Now, our only hope is you. Save Krat from this nightmare. Hmm. Okay. Whatever choice. I'm, I'm not really tracking how, how petrification disease and ergo are tied together. Like, I, like, it's clearly being described that it's causal. That petrification disease creates ergo. Mm -hmm. Out of what's left of the humans, their soul, I guess. Oh uh, um, yeah. But what I'm not understanding is that, at least from the beginning of this game, it's implied that there is a lot of Ergo and that it's being used to create these hundreds of thousands of puppets right? for various points of servitude and other things. And I'm sure puppetry is not the only thing they used it for, right? It seems like a, a source of power mm -hmm. for a lot of different things. Uh, so, real quick, do we have any other items we need to do before we move on? Um, we should go back to the exhibition conference room and continue past the boss room until we come to a balcony. Okay. And we'll want to make sure we have at least a gold coin fruit before speaking to the NPCs that are there. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, not, not in a big rush. Just want to move slowly toward right. our next objective here. Go ahead, right. So, so I guess the question then becomes, or maybe begs the question: mm -hmm. How much human life equates to that much ergo? And have they just dealt with the petrification disease all their lives? And because of alchemists, the the alchemists like. Um, getting his hands in it 
maybe it's spread like an epidemic versus like the occasional person becoming petrified over the course of long years. Something, I guess. Hmm. I'm sorry. What was the last thing you said? What? Um. The petrification disease, like yeah. before it is how we understand it, mm -hmm. which is this mass epidemic. Right. Was it something that always existed in their world? Uh -huh. Was it just the natural conclusion to someone's life? They, instead of dying of old age, they petrified. That's, and, and that was how ergo came about or that's, whatever. Like That's not the impression I get. The impression I get is the petrification disease happened because of weird experiments. And then there were experiments on it to obtain ergo. But I don't know that. They haven't stated that particular specific point directly uh, yet. But that's my impression of what's going on. Right. Because so the alchemists getting involved muddies everything. Because I don't know how much of that is pre-existing conditions that he then made a thousand times worse. Mm, yeah. Or if he's the one that created the conditions to begin with. Right? Yeah. Like the alchemists were trying to do something and inadvertently created the petrification disease, which inadvertently allowed them to determine or discover ergo. Yeah, I don't know. I think we need more and information. Then, <laughs> right, and then trying to create the cure for the petrification disease also taught them how to mutate people through it. Mm -hmm. Creating monsters or evolution or whatever, depending on your perspective. Could be that way. Yeah. Oh, hey, people. I just, it's hard for me to think that petrification disease didn't exist before. Mm hmm. Because I feel like the use of Ergo is what led to the alchemist, Simon specifically, choosing to muddy his hands in experimentation with it. Really? I, I think... I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just spitballing here. Yeah, I mean... Could be that the alchemists repurposed once they discovered Ergo. You know, they're experimenting with life in general, so... Yeah. Yeah. And I, I do like the tie... I know I said it already, but I like the tie of the gold as well, because, like... Yep. When we talk about alchemy in its historical sense, mm -hmm. the idea of transmuting gold and stuff is... Transmuting things into gold, yeah, specifically right. to be rich. Uh, there's also the idea of the Philosopher's Stone as well, uh, which right. is essentially mastery over alchemy. You can do anything, and in some instances, you are immortal. <laughs> right, which I think they're playing into that a little bit as well. So it's just interesting to see all that. And, and with the Ergo being, having some form of consciousness. Mm-hmm. I feel like that plays into the the psychiatric. What was it? Jungian, maybe. Jungian. Who, Jungian, who who believes that the conscious returns into the the larger unconscious. You're you're asking oh. if Carl Jung has stated that. Was that was that Jung? I thought there was a psychologist specifically who had that belief. If you're saying Jungian, that's Carl Jung. Um, it. I think you're talking about the collective unconscious. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's that's Carl Jung. Okay, because that's also what that kind of feels like is the collective unconscious. Yeah, trying to reach out across to the listener. Well, in this case, yeah, there's there's the essence of a person, and if you just combine the ergo, that is something of a collective. It's it's not exactly the same thing, but it's close. Um, right. And playing on the concept and having bits of it in in a puppet. That's you know they pieces of a soul. You know manifest and they have all these weird memories and remember past human lives and stuff like that so. right also explain some of the sentience aspect of it too if they're awakening to their past memories yeah yeah well one question i would have is why can we lie why can't they what is special about p um is it just the right. P organ is it something else oh, oh up to up to now all we have is the P organ being yeah. the unique feature. Yeah. Um, and so what is it? <laughs> right. The heart of Geppetto's son encased in gold and clockwork. Perhaps. It could be. Yeah. Anyway, we could get lost in that discussion for a while. Let's go see what Miss Fox and Mr. Cat are doing. Hey. Ciao, Bello. 
It seems you and I share a strong connection. Ugh. Talking to an alchemist is like talking to a brick wall. That's also an alchemist. <laughs> Brother, you should say hello to your friend. But it is true that we are in something of a bind. We're going to need to consult with our old friend. You got that right, sister. Our pal is sure to help us. We didn't behave that badly at his last shindig. I hope. A moment, please. My young brother here is slowly but surely losing his very sight, his mm. windows to the world, to a terrible, slow working illness. That is why I seek the gold coin fruit. It's set to work miracles, and do I ever need one? The alchemists give us just enough to keep him going, but not enough to cure, and never what they promised. We can't rely on those crucible kissing wizards. Please, don't make me beg. He needs this. Besides, for a fellow who raided the Black Rabbit Brotherhood's den and walked out in one piece, it'll be as easy as eating your weight in bumbaloni. Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Are you there? Can, can you hear me? Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Can you spare any? As a personal favor? So I'm assuming we hand this over. Yeah. We knew you were a true friend. And generous. That's right. I liked you from the start, you know. Just had a feeling. If you felt otherwise, that wasn't me. <laughs> Ignore this one. When he gets excited or just feels happy, he gets chatty. Me too. But he really is grateful. We both are. Ch oh, no, Ch no. Rack. I hate <laughs> to borrow and run, but we have another request from the alchemist to take care of, so we will be staying behind. You'll need to go on without us, so I suppose this is farewell. I won't ever forget your kindness. Here, a small token, but it's a gift from the heart. Now go. Ooh, exotic. And, and beg. beg. Good, good, good. Well, that's a cool looking cover. If you stop dreaming, your heart will stop too, so I will confront it. The story of the knight desperately seeking the truth, even in the illusions created by the devil. Hmm. Quixotic? 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 Yeah, I think so. Quixotic, but it looks looks very much like Quixote. I never forget a friendly face. Quixote. Now go. Honestly, I didn't really expect you to bring us a damn thing, and yet... Thank you. Truly. I'm not saying I'm ready to set up housekeeping, or that I even trust you, <laughs> but given time, I think we could become actual friends. Cool. Honestly. I yeah, okay. I never... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I don't trust you guys either. So we are... What you're up to. Yeah, they're, they're a little shifty with what they do. They're cool, though. I like them. Yeah. Oh, look at that. She's got, like, a bun she's wearing. Nice. Mm-hmm. Moving on. Yep. Hmm. The Isle of Alchemists, you say? And monsters. This is a nightmare. <laughs> I'm living my own nightmare. Puppets and alchemists forget it. It is their secret island. A place hidden from the world. But even if we could find it, how to get there? Open My ticket? research, well, Porcinella did a lot of the heavy lifting, has led me to believe you can find one deep within the barren swamp. It's also led me to believe it is guarded by actual monsters. So, I can't make this decision for you. It's up to you. No, I'm not going to tell you the details yet. Hmm. Not until we have that golden ergo. It's just not worth getting our hopes up, companion. Aha. But thou must. 
So we get on the tram. Yeah. And this will take us to the swamp. Yep, will take us to the Baron Swamp entrance. The Baron Swamp, I believe, is an area that has a very interesting weapon in it that we will check That's, out. Well, I mean, I'm always down for an interesting weapon. Mm-hmm. I think you'll like this one. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Tram station. Evening after the rain. No, they made my gold coins into an odd number. No. It's tragic. Mm. Whatever shall you do. Mm. Be sad. <laughs> Dan is sad. Oh, I'm so sad right now. Get these trash cans out of here. All right. A lot of puppets in that dumpster. Yeah, it's. <laughs> huh. Give me those ergo fragments. Ergo. Vis a vis, ergo. Quid pro quo. Yeah. <laughs> the Nini's Krat Landmark Guide 4. This month's attraction, the Barren Swamp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> In this issue of Vanini's Guide, we'd like to introduce a special place different from our previously featured attractions. And we don't mean special in a good way. <laughs> of course, it may cater to a few people with peculiar tastes. But if you're an adventurer who wants to know all about Krat, it's worth learning about its shadows. In that sense, the Barren Swamp is the area that showcases Crot's shadows well. The Barren Swamp is where scrapped puppets are discarded. Because it's composed of swamps and ravines, it wasn't part of the city's development. In the past, it was briefly a coal mine, but was soon forgotten because of the Ergo discovery. Later, a few shrewd factory businesses concerned about scrapped puppets began to dispose of them illegally, turning the swamp into what it is now. A swamp full of discarded puppets and corrupted animals. It's Krat's grave itself. Mm. Luckily, the city announced that they'll turn the barren swamp into a park with the exhibition just around the corner. So we're seeing some hope here. It's a living grave of hell. How about seeing this kind of place with your own eyes before anything's developed? Good or bad, experience is an experience. Rating, 2.5 out of 5. An attraction for those who want to see Krat's shadow. Long boots are a must. Mm. Porter Maduro. This guy was made with support from the Vanini Company, friend of the city. All right. Well, Long we boots are. are a must. We are here to. Uh, wait, do we have anything with long boots on them? We might. I'm cool. sure one of the hunters' outfits. Yeah. Will have boots. Let's see here. Surely we do. Surely. That that's got boots. Yeah. Yeah, we need that one for a bit. We want a hat. Let's see. There's the mask. There's the top hat. I don't know. I've just kind of been enjoying like no hat for a bit. Just have yeah. a, do the thing there. It's a little more minimalist. Yeah. This place is okay. There's no easy way to say this. But it's a puppet graveyard. Mm -hmm. Humans call it an illegal dumping site. The city tried to stop it, but. Eventually had much bigger concerns. If the Grand Exhibition's horrific solution spread this far too, I say it's just too terrible to think about. Oh, why am I thinking about it? <laughs> uh, let's head back to Hotel Crab before you get too far. I have had that exact thought process. That's <laughs> terrible. Think about why much. am I thinking about this? I can't stop doing this. <laughs> ah! Oh, we got some stuff to do. We do. We got a couple of things to do. Oh, hey, Belle's here. Yes. Well, she said she'd re return, so. Yeah. Talk to her. She's, yeah, she's one of our talk tos. I'm afraid you saw my bad side at the Grand Exhibition. Hmm. I was able to escape, thanks to you. I didn't mean to be ungrateful. I'm a soldier from outside Krat. Oh. They sent us in pairs to investigate. Hmm. I got trapped by the blockade and separated from my partner. I don't That's think the puppets are the only things at play here. 
Can I stay with you until I get in touch with my partner? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're already here, so... <laughs> but what are the monsters doing here? Asking the relevant what questions. What is happening to Crod? I get the puppet. What is happening? Yeah. Got it. So, Bell is the uh, player insert. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, what is happening? It sort of strikes me as um, the beginning of Demon Souls a little bit, because yeah. you're sent in, you're a demon hunter sent in to deal with what's happening in Boletaria, and uh, yeah, then you get stuck there, of course, and you have to deal with it a lot. Uh, right. Who else do we need to talk uh, to? Here? Let's talk to Palandina. Hey, buddy. Lady Antonia has heard about the Grand Exhibition. She realizes their cure is meaningless. Her illness has worsened. Perhaps because she lost hope. Mm. I fear we might lose her soon. Lady Antonia cautions against it, to be sure. But I still believe that gold coin fruit is our last hope. I have heard about an alchemist who knows how to use that most miraculous of medicines. Oh yeah. Please find a way to treat her. Anything here? Yeah, we got more oh, of those. Oh, the Dark Moon, yeah. We nice. got some of these. We want to buy, or if we want to upgrade another weapon, we got three more available there, and I think we're holding on to a few. Yep. Yeah, six there. So. All right, so we also want to talk to Eugenie, Vanini, and Gianjo. Okay. Let's see. Will you do. Um, me a favor? Hmm, sure. For once, it's not difficult or dangerous. <laughs> Just give this to Alidoro. I give it to him myself, but he's in the barren swamp now. Okay. What? He'll understand the significance of this gift. I know. Just do this for me, and, and I'll be grateful. Okay. A glove. I Four-finger glove. A weapon. Yeah. Let me upgrade. Yeah, I do have enough to upgrade beyond plus six at this point. So I could upgrade the dancer or this weapon, but we're not using it very heavily. So I'm going to sit on it for a minute. Kitty. Important. Yes. Give the Pet the pets. kitty. Oh, Since yeah. the kitty does not have a name that we know of, its name is Spot. Kitty. Yeah, it looks looks a little like Spot. Yeah, I feel like I feel like it's an appropriate name. Benini. I hear there is a new guest at the hotel, and that you had a little something to do with that. Correct. Nope. I just I mean, find no. saving people is its own reward. I certainly don't need the money. <laughs> Even strangers, everyone deserves some help now and then. If we who live through times like this. Don't live the best lives we can. We dishonor the memories of all we have lost. Honoring the lost is why I do what I do. In a way, I envy the dead. They don't have to know what it's like to remember that they're gone. Ha! <laughs> and here I go again. Blah, 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 and who cares? <laughs> now, let's get out there and save my... That is our city. <laughs> Got more here. <laughs> the Grand Covenant. You're not asking much, are you? <laughs> Very well. Geppetto himself created it, and I... God help me, I made it work. It's in every puppet, a sort of... conscience. And in theory, it should have prevented anything like the puppet frenzy ever happening. It's because we don't truly understand ergo, at least that's my view. Sometimes ergo-driven puppets gain what we call awakened egos. Individuality, more or less. Which is a dangerous thing if someone's not ready to handle it. Though that is rare. Or used to be. Hence, the Grand Covenant. Humanity's safety net. But it did not work. The puppet frenzy happened anyway. And I still don't know how. <laughs> so, 
The King of Puppets, how did he get around the Covenant, I wonder? He used the Ergo Wavelengths, but what did he do to their consciences? However, it's a different story when a single puppet cracks the safety device of so many puppets. Does the Grand Covenant break when their ego awakens? Or did someone cause the frenzy after lifting the Grand Covenant? If it's the former, the King of Puppets is the culprit. If it's the latter, the King of Puppets is a means to an end. I am but a simple, brilliant genius and a man about town. <laughs> I do not pretend to be otherwise. That is why I'm asking you to solve this. Everything depends on what you do now and your choices. Of course. I'm the main character. I always right. welcome... Hmm. Amatsa, that is one slick prototype. You think it's a tram for... crickets? Uh-huh. <laughs> Let me see, I think... Have we done this? Uh, I thought you were going to look at it while I uh, between episodes at one point. <laughs> Do you think I did that? Uh, we made Deus Ex Machina. That's, that's what we did. Yeah. I think I have... Uh, no, I don't have any calibers at the moment. Yeah. But yeah, we can, we can check out Deus Ex Machina real quick before we get back going. If you want. Switch. If I want, I do. Ooh. Ooh. That's crazy looking. Oh, that's because it like slams to the ground, right? I think so. Okay. Mm. Oh, mines, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it regenerates. <laughs> that's kind of fun. I'll mm -hmm. stick with the shield for now, but that's kind of fun. There was yeah. one more person we needed to talk to, right? Uh, yes. The Giangio. The guy who's near the gold fruit tree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me look at what we can make here, and I'll make my way up there. I need to grab some gold fruit anyway. Wait. Where'd he go? What? Aladoro? He's the he's in the swamp. Oh, you're... Okay, right, 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 right. Okay. I'm forgetting names is the problem. Okay. I'll yeah. go up here. Aladoro? I mean, dog head dude? Yeah. Dog guy. Doggo boy? Best boy. Fruit. Hey, you got an odd number, so now I'll be even again. Yeah. Hey, buddy. How's the cure for the petrification disease coming along? Glad you asked. It's going well, thanks to you. Hmm. Well, I forgot he was working on that. Cannot cure everyone completely. Victims who have progressed too far have already lost organ function, and there's no way to restore that. Even if we eliminate the petrification disease, they won't last long. Their passing might be less painful than petrification, though. Are you sure? I can make a cure, Mr. Stalker, but... I leave the choice to you. A longer but painful life, or a quicker but peaceful end. I'll make the cure if you give me one gold coin fruit. What, uh... What's, what should we do here? Um, it is up to you. However, the recommendation here... Is, um... To give her the cure... Uh, to get the cure and give it to Antonia. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Stalker, please. Mm, let's grab a few more stuff here. Let's see. 
What was he using before? Courage. Yeah, that's Fable Charge. I'll grab two of these. And then I think I had uh, one of these. Yeah, not too concerned about this right now, to be honest. So. The cure isn't exactly stable. Give it to the patient as soon as possible. Ah, okay. All right, so we'll go cure her. Antonia. Don't die. Poor butler guy will be sad. Paul and Dina will be uh, very upset. Hey. People have no idea so many secrets are buried in crap. Thanks for keeping me company. What are you curious about? Hmm. We've done these before. How do we give this to her? People have no Oh, you talked to Paul and Dina. Thanks for uh, oh. Because Paul and Dina is the one that was suggesting you find the cure. Sure, sure. I believed in you, and my belief has been rewarded. She can be cured. <laughs> it feels like a dream. The possibility of imminent death, though. Why won't pain ever leave her alone? I cannot make this choice. Every option is painful. I cannot know what's best for her. What would... What would you choose? Mm. Okay. And then the recommendation is to use the cure? That's what's written here, but... Okay. Well, yeah. Let's, let's do it. Let's cure. Yes. Choose not to on your new game plus. Pain wouldn't be right. Thank you so much. No matter what happens, I will accept it. I will administer the medicine. Please accept this token of my gratitude. Thanks. No Radiant Argo fragment. Serving her is my duty. Welcome to. Her. Okay. And do we have to okay. like leave or something? Uh, um, well, I don't know, maybe, but you can go ahead and talk to um, Geppetto. Okay. Ge Geppetto. She does look like she's a little better. People have no idea. Thanks for keeping me. Okay. Yeah, we probably won't see exactly how it's affected her until later. Interesting. If I had to guess. I am curious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Geppetto. Geppetto. The nose is getting awful long. Uh-huh. You don't remember much beyond Rosa Isabel Street, do you? Ask me about areas you want to know about. Mm. Oh, he's... Okay. Yeah, doesn't have much to say here. Do we need to, like, right. leave and come back to talk to him? No, uh, just this is what it said to do, but maybe okay. not. Uh... Okay. Alright, uh, we were working on this one. Uh, can't do more of these. Can do more of these. Let's see. Special resistance. That's nice. Lowers the guard regain reduction. Uh, what was guard regain? That's when you... That's your rally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. Rally or lower damage received when pulse cells are discharged. I'm inclined to do this one. Yeah. And we get their pulse cell recovery as well. Ooh, amulet slot. I like that. Grindstone uses. Okay. Whoops. Oh, the special one. So that's. You can buff twice or whatever. Perfect guard cause stiffness. Fascinating. Mm. So, like, they don't move for a second, I guess. Fable slots. I'm inclined to go with the amulet slot. Yeah. All right. They're all pretty good, though. Yeah. Yeah, they are. All right, let's see what we got here. Fable arts. Oh, that's nice. Natural recovery upon weapon attack. Oh, that one's pretty good. 
weapon attack when discharged. Okay. Hmm, pulse cell uses is nice. Auto charge pulse cells when discharged. Wait, what? Enhance attribute resistance, okay. That has to do with when you run out of pulses. Oh, so it auto-charges instead of you having to hit. That's pretty nice, actually. Well, or at least in tandem with hitting, which means it'll probably recharge faster. Mm -hmm. HP when a perfect guard is successful. Oh, that's pretty good, too. Wow, we're getting to some pretty good abilities here. Mm-hmm. Rifle grindstone, weapon durability. Oh, okay. That's cool. Legion consumption... Fatal attack, Fable Charger, interesting. <laughs> I'm inclined to do one of these defensive ones, and then maybe the really good attack one. Let's see, which one was it? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Pulse cells or auto charge, situational enhanced resistance. Go for some of the perfect guard. I would go with one of the pulse cell ones. Yeah, I'm gonna do the increased pulse cells. I think. Sounds good. And then we got one more quartz. I wish we could okay. do another defensive one here, but that's okay. Yeah, I want to just wait for a second. I'll be right back. Do, 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 Legion consumption. What should I do, viewers? Charge a certain amount of Legion when an enemy is eliminated. Fatal charge, eh? Upon fatal attacks. One thing I try to do when I'm making a build like this is I try to look for things that are not situational or are situations I hit very often. So, for example, uh, fatal attacks, if I use a lot of them, then that would be worthwhile. Or if the use of them is particularly uh, handy. So, uh, charge legion, or legion construction, natural recovery. What should I do? Let's see. I think I'm going to go with one of these attack ones. I'm going to do... Yeah. Enhance Fable Arts attack. Okay. That's all of our quartz used. I think that'll be pretty solid. Once again, I'll uh, if I change the build there, I'll go through it. Let you guys know what I'm doing. Now, I think I'm going to go to port. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go to the Baron Swamp entrance, and then I'm going to come back and see if we can get the Geppetto dialogue. All these lying screens. Why is the game lying to me? Everybody panic. All right. Let's see. I do want to see if Antonia looks a little different here. Nope. Oh, it's you. Come here. I've been in such a good mood all day. I have a feeling I'll be in better shape in no time. Ooh. Oh. And you better not underestimate me just because I'm not as spry as I used to be. I know you and Polandina are up to something. <laughs> Still, I haven't felt this happy in a while. Only kind people can give others this sort of happiness. 
I always treasure a day like today. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. She is in a good mood today. People she is. Thanks for keep Let's see if Paulandina has anything to say about it. No matter what fate brings us, serving her is my welcome to Hotel. I guess this kind of resolved her little side story there. Yeah, I guess so. Unless, you know, I come back and she's like, I'm in pain or something like that. <laughs> Turns into a monster and then you have to fight her off and crot. Oh, that'd be so awful. That would be terrible. You don't mm. remember much. Ask me about it. Okay. Oh. I guess he didn't have anything new to say. I guess not. All right. Well, um, okay. So... First of all, I'm back. Hi. Welcome back. Uh, Sarasani Alley, the, the traveling merchant that was there. Mm -hmm. You were able to get like some starter weapons and various other things. That was like uh, at the very beginning. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Wait, Sarasani mm -hmm. Alley, where is that? Let's see. Let's right. check it out on the teleport here. That might have been near the entrance because I think it had the starter weapons merchant. Um. Anyway. Uh, we will lose access to this traveling merchant soon, so if there's anything you need to get from him, now's the time to do it. Okay, let's check it out. Which, I, if it's the one at the beginning of the game, I don't think we he's got anything that we can't get from other merchants. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I bought uh, the weapons I need. It's interesting that we're going to get lose access to this. Out here alone? Yeah, and I started with that weapon, so I don't technically need... I guess I could buy another one if I need it, if I wanted to, like, right. combine it. Sure. Not Okay. Purchase some of those. Um, yeah, I really don't... I mean, it's 300, whatever. I have an extra one. All right. <laughs> yeah, because you did that so badly. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was it, then. Easy peasy. All right. Yep. So it is it is definitely time for Swamp Black Swamp Exploration. Black Swamp. The Black Gulch. Shouldn't say that. We're gonna go here and there's gonna be a bunch of statues spitting poison darts everywhere. Like, ah uh, <laughs> no. No, 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 no. What has Dan done to this game? Now everyone right. has to deal with it. What have you done? Ha 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 ha. Daniel son, how could you? <laughs> Daniel son. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, hey, buddy. Got a beat yeah, shovel there. Lots of, lots of fun things here to fight. Well, I tried. Yeah, that was my last ability. I update, upgraded the attack power of Fable Arts. Nice. Good job on giving him that as a goal, viewers. What's that? I was I was congratulating the viewers on giving you a good choice to select. Yeah, yeah, much appreciated, viewers. Thanks, yep. thanks for your input. High fives. <laughs> Just for clarity, if you're just listening, we aren't actually streaming this at the moment, so we are being just silly. Yep. I just assume we we took in the thought before they had it via time quantum osmosis or something. Time quantum. What I was trying to do is not blow myself up with that. <laughs> that did not work. Whoa, that's crazy looking. Sure is. Jeez. Oh. Freaking junkyard. This Ooh, is... that place is on fire. Sure is. Seems like we're going to deal with overheat a decent amount here. I assume that is not a good drop down. Yeah, that would be a safe bet. That's a, that's a death drop down right there. I'm going to die. I'm in danger. Oh, oh, that's a splody dog. an annoying dog. Hmm. 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 Dink. Hey, I see you, idiot. 
Oh, nice. Fool. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you fool. What do we got here? Oh, friendo. Ooh. Belford Superior Insulation and Converter. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's that might have electric. I was gonna say that might have been a that might be an upgrade to your other insulated converter that you had. Yeah, it's a standard. There seems to be fire here, so I'm gonna stick with the radiation, even though this seems like it's got a vague amount of additional stats here. Yeah. Uh, it does seem like it's a bit of an upgrade, but I think I'm gonna stick with the fire one for now. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. I have them it's sometimes. It's a narwhal dog. It's a nar dog. A nar dog. How nar? The it's nar, a nar dog. It's a nar dog. That's right. Oh I'm hey. One, oh what the? Oh. Ah yes, the ability to snipe you from any, any angle, from any direction. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh. Oh, up there. Too bad you don't have that um, legion arm. Yeah. The cynical part of me wants to say what, so it can just like explode in front of them and do nothing. Here, yeah, that's uh, fair. Wait, I'm, ah, throwing cells. I just bought these. Eh. No. Oh. Yeah. Go the bigger one. <laughs> clack, 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 clack. There you go. Get out of here. There's a third. No, <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure I stepped on a trap. Can I call you Seth Dog? No. So tell me, Seth Dog. I'm the boss. Uh, uh, whatever. Just equip the chain. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay. I see what's going on here. I see through the lies of the Jedi. I saw, um,. I don't know how true it is, mm -hmm. but even as a meme, it's funny. But apparently, like, uh, I want to say it's Iceland. I don't remember the exact location. Mm -hmm. But uh, Ewan McGregor, and for those who don't know, he's the one who plays Obi Wan in the prequel series. Mm -hmm. Um, like he's uh, like one of his mount. These mountains are getting named after him. Oh, really? <laughs> like, it's like their tallest mountain or whatever. They're, it's getting named Kenobi after Ian McGregor's performance or something like that. That's cool. Right. Like, again, I don't know how accurate this is. But what was the funny part to me was that someone had put a meme beneath it where it's that scene when they're on um, Mustafar. The lava right? planet? Yeah. Yeah, Mustafar. Um... It's the scene where, you know, Kenobi is on the on the hill before mm -hmm. Anakin jumps. Mm -hmm. And instead of I have the high ground, he's like, don't do it, Anakin. I am the high ground. <laughs> 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 yep, that. Yeah, that's true. So it was a really long winded way to say that I found a funny oh. thing the other day. Ooh. That was terrifying. Are there more? That was a big, big ball. Yeah. Oh no, it's just one of those idiots up there. Great. Oh no. Great. It's your favorite enemy, Dan. Great. <laughs> this is just what I wanted to deal with right now. It's your favorite enemy of all time. Come at me, you fool. Oh, he looks like he's having a bad day, though. Like. He looks a little sluggish. Got some big wind up, too. Jeez. 
Ooh. All right. He's got a cleaver in his head. He does. Mm. I don't understand how I didn't time that. Come on. There we go. Come oh. on. Man. Oh. That punches. Something else. To whoever made this enemy, who hurt you? <laughs> Clowns, obviously. Clearly. There, now I'll get it this time. Yeah. Die, die, die. Hey, I got a caliber, that's cool. At least you didn't die to him this time. Yeah, he just took all of my freaking healing. Uh, potato, potato. Uh. <laughs> There's a bridge. That, okay, we need to check over here first. <laughs> the bridge is like that ever since I played Demon Souls. I remember going on a bridge in the Valley of Defilement, and I'm starting to go across it, and I've run past a couple of enemies, and then there are enemies on that side, and they cut off both sides of the bridge, and I'm like, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I just get yeah. freaking chain hit and I'm dead. Uh, I think uh, two Dark Souls two has one of the funniest ones for me. I think it's two. No, it might be three. Anyway, it's it's like a thousand skeletons are yeah, coming across. That's three. That's the catacombs okay. of Carthus. Yeah. Right. They're like a, a, there's so many of them. Yeah. There's there's yeah. probably actually a thousand skeletons there. Right. <laughs> and they just. You know, you cut the bridge on the other side, they just like all plummet, and it's yeah. really entertaining. Like all the skeletons fall off. Right. Oh man. Needed some cartoon sounds to it. What? I hear a big thing. Alright. Deal with you first. Come here. You're my help. Recharge. At least some of it. Ooh. Yeah, there it is. It's a shovel guy. Uh, Th this might be the on fire section we saw. It goes down yeah, into the. Looks like it. Yeah. It's up the stairs here. Yeah, there should be like a lever for a shortcut as well. Back to the entrance. A lever or a lever? Yeah, like uh, we... a lever. <laughs> I knew it! Oh, I knew no. some idiocy was going to happen there. I knew it. Man, I freaking knew it. I didn't know what it was, so I couldn't do anything about it. But I'm like, something's just gonna kill me. What? Sh what <laughs> even shot you? I didn't even see anything. Yeah, I saw nothing. Uh. That was the best ever. Right. Well, that's where we're headed because that's where Aladoro is. What at the and top? Want to open up oh, the tower. Yeah, the tower. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. And that'll open a shortcut where he is too. Yeah. Awesome. The shortcut will actually spit you out right next to where we just spawned. Because of course it will. Yep. Because what's required is to do all of that again because of one stupid gunshot. Ah! Well, in theory, the clown won't be there this time, so you can, like, conserve your healing. In theory, of course. Theoretically. Stop setting me on fire. <laughs> nah, I don't think I will. Nah, that ain't me. That ain't me. Nice. Fall off. Ooh. Fall. Or explode, that's fine. Yep. As long as you do it far away from me. Yeah, up there. Good grief. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is exactly the same spot. 
I'm also pretty sure there's something down there we need to deal with. <laughs> the bottom of that whole junk pile. Uh, yeah, that's probably the way forward, honestly. Okay. <laughs> I remember you. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> oh, you know, I shared a really awful pun in one of our previous Persona 3 episodes. Mm -hmm. With justice specifically, right? Oh, sure. And why it's cold. Just that. You know. Yeah. Cause, yeah, because otherwise it'd be just water. Indeed. <laughs> well, I heard a really great one this weekend. So I'm going to put it... I'm going to share the misery with everybody who's watching. All right. And specifically Perfect. for you. <laughs> so... I'm looking forward to this. Did you know that even if a bear puts on socks and shoes, he still has to walk around in his bare feet. Ah, <laughs> uh, perfect. <laughs> That's true. You are correct. Yep, he's still barefoot. Yup. Get it, guys. Get it, because, because bear. Get it? You get it? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they got it. I think they got it. It was pretty unbearable. Uh huh. It's getting deep in here. <laughs> uh. Well, I think and those you. cogs <laughs> do some like like they don't do a ton of damage, but they do more damage than I thought they would. Did that trap last time, for God's sake. Yeah, they they do a decent like they're not like pebbles in souls. Like they actually do a little bit of chip damage. Right. But not fry damage and definitely not brownie damage. Not Only chip breakfast damage. burrito damage. Did I just block that? Oh my god. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. That was like a Matrix moment where it just time slowed down. <laughs> guns. Lots of guns. <laughs> That's right. I was like, how did I do that? <laughs> Whenever mm. I do any sort Yeah, he's not here. Yeah! There uh, you go. Whenever I do any sort of really good timing, unless I'm very focused, if I just kind of bust one out, it's, it's not. Like, it's always, like, high... That wasn't even intentional. I just reacted. I just zinned for like a three seconds. Now, where's my ergo? Okay, it's fine. Look at that. I've got four healing. I didn't have to fight some idiot. <laughs> right. Probably won't help with the drop, but... Nah. Alright. So, maybe we go up the way a little bit more. Find whoever shot at you. There this he is. idiot right here. Get out of here. There's another one. Alright. In case you haven't noticed, viewers, everyone that crosses me is an idiot today. I just don't recognize your infinite skills. That's right. They're all a bunch of idiots. They pretty much are. <laughs> oh, you broke his sword. Nice. I did. He was trying to block and... Sword snapped in half. That was cool. Okay. So I'm guessing we go out here. Uh, well, what about your item? Did you want to go back and get it? What item? On the... Oh, no, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I picked I it up. Hold on. Oh, I thought yeah. you fell over before you got it. Oh, nope. okay. Yeah, I picked it up. Yeah, Ignore me? Down there is that guy. Okay. Ooh. Is it cart time? Is the lever. <laughs> the lever. The lavar. Lavar Burton. Ooh, hey. I got a chain. Also known as Jordy LaForge. Also known as the Reading Rainbow Guy. So I pull this. 
This should be entertaining. It's cart time! Ooh, that's an explosive cart time. Yeah! <laughs> Boom. Got it. Love explodies. Heck yeah. Oh, I heard something. <laughs> A little paranoid at the moment. Ah. So that's something. Yep. That's a shortcut. Great. Great. Okay. Where's Al Aladora? Should be around there somewhere. Maybe he's over here. Climb the ladder to the top of the tower. That tower? Yeah, did yeah. you go up? The terms of there the he is. Oh, there he is. Tolerable. Well, I think they care about those hotel people anyway. But there are limits. Limits, you say? Hey, buddy. <clears throat> How'd you do? It's quite odd that we should meet in a place like this. You're a dog. Oh, don't pretend surprised that I got here before you. After all, I can elude the darkest monsters, the loftiest beings. In fairness, I do benefit from your prowess as well. I shall tell you something since we're nearly peers. Nearly, they say huh? a terrible monster lives on the cliff at the end of the swamp. It behaves like a crow gathering hmm. shiny things. A crow? I have absconded with treasures from its lair. Rare parts and weapons worthy of a hero. Ooh. Now catch your interest? Mm -hmm. If you're hunting ergo monsters, you might put that friendly tip to use. You're a worthy hunter, and it is worthy prey. Show that swamp monster what you're capable of. Okay. You're a worthy hunter, and it... Okay, yeah, hold on. Yeah, okay. So that's Frozen Feast, Greatsword... Instantly release your weapon. Increases attack mm. speed. Oh, okay, I see. Get your strength for a big forward slash. Interesting. And then... Arm of God amulet. Hmm. Oh, okay, so the recommendation here... Mm -hmm. Is actually to pick the Frozen Feast. Really? Yes. Like, the Arm of God amulet is useful for some builds. Mm -hmm. But because of other items you can get a little later that I think you'll really like. Mm -hmm. You should go with Frozen Feast. Okay, done. Grab that. Like, one of them is a quartz, but there's also, like, another item you can get. Okay. Ooh, Eugenie's gloves. What's this? A gift for a rescuer from a technician girl. Hmm, I don't remember. I've saved so many of the common people. Anyway, uh, thank her. I suppose. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. These gloves are a mess. They don't even fit. Is this a practical joke? <sighs> My god, I never did like that girl. She's just like him. Oh. <laughs> never mind. I thought you had better taste than this. How disappointing. Get these rags out of my sight. Uh. Wow, what a jerk. Okay. You're a worthy hunter. An idiot. <laughs> You're a mean person. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Good grief. Like, come on now. Yeah, so... Um, Don't mess with my girl. Good grief. Right. So we should head back and talk to Eugenie about the uh, the gloves. Okay. I am and... curious about this real quick. Oh, that's so cool looking. Oh. Oh. Alright, so I assume. Yeah. Ooh. Fascinating. Alright. Okay, and so don't climb the tower yet. We should head back first. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we should head back. Okay. No problem. Love shortcuts! Back to the hotel. Yeah, uh, but also because we're getting close to time, too. Like, we're oh, yeah, yeah, almost right on the mark, so. Fair enough. Go talk to Eugenie and wrap things up. Hey. Hey, about my request last time. Did you give Ali Doro the gloves? Uh-huh. 
Phew. Even the Union's advancement test didn't make me this nervous. All right. I'm ready. Tell me the truth. Did the gloves make Alidoro happy? Well, I assume we say he was happy. Yes. Really? What a relief. I'm confident in my weapons, but it was my first time making gloves, so I was a little nervous. Okay, more than a little. Gloves seemed a logical gift because I know he lost a finger. I was there, after all. When the workshop tower collapsed, the hound lost a finger saving me. Mm. We could have starved to death trapped under the rubble if it wasn't for the hound sacrifice back then. I, I don't want to think about it. And yet I can't forget it. I will never repay that sacrifice, even if I spend my whole life trying. But I'm going to start now. <laughs> Thanks. I was too shy to give such a gift to him myself. Speaking of gifts, I got something for you. Take it with my thanks. Okay. Fireworks. I feel warmth. Yeah. <laughs> I know my way. Let's see. Now, we do not have a full moonstone of the covenant yet. We do have some more half moonstones though, so should be interesting. We have. Yeah, we if we're gonna uh, upgrade this one, we can. Uh, Get, get those other dark moon moonstones of the covenant at some point. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, anything to do before we wrap it up? I'm just gonna grab a level here. Well, uh, no. After that, it's back to the swamps. So. Me swamp. Get out of me swamp. What are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> Says twenty eight hundred. Ergo, nice. Okay. Well, thank you all for joining as we uh, dove into the Barren Swamp as well as talk to a bunch of people. Lots of good dialogue in this episode. Some interesting questions uh, about yeah. the petrification disease, the nature of Ergo, all of that fun stuff. Uh, the yeah, plot thickens. Got some truth bombs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, we did. Um, and yeah, like, uh, got our. our Antonia, she's doing better in here. People have no thanks for keep. Yeah. Does she look any better? No, she's still got some stuff, but she's feeling better, so that's good. Yeah. We got her a cure, and that's good. Yep. It's all a good thing, right? Nothing nothing will nothing unfortunate will happen. Uh, uh, you're right, right. Uh-huh. Everything will be peachy keen. That's right. Exactly. Mm. Yes. Well. If you guys do like what you've been watching, then please do all the algorithm stuff for us. It really, really helps us. So like, subscribe, comment. Let us know your thoughts about this game or other games. Check out our other series. We've got a ton of stuff concurrent and um, that we've just recorded over the last year. Mm -hmm. So guaranteed, I feel safe to say, guaranteed to find something that you'll enjoy and that will certainly, if not arise, full-on laughter, the occasional chuckle and smirking, maybe even chortling at our failures uh, <laughs> in those various videos. So, yes, worth a watch, to say the least. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we uh, we have a lot of fun. Uh, we hope you are, too. Leave us a comment uh, if you have any thoughts. Uh, like, subscribe. All the fun stuff that every YouTube person asks you for. Right. Um, we are glad you are here and watching and hanging out with us as we play some awesome games and we're going to keep doing it right so thank you so much for letting us be a part of your time and of your day and we will catch you all in the next video see you next time bye bye now <laughs>